Imagine if you had a superpower to listen to a piece of music and hear what you have never heard before. In this video, I will tell you about a basic but effective ear training exercise that in time, your ear becomes like an x-ray and you would hear things in music that you've never heard before. Hello everyone and welcome, welcome to another episode of Homain TV. Um, before we start, just in case you have not seen the other video that I made for this topic, make sure to check it out. I'll put the link in the description below. And uh, so, let's go! So, the same as all of our sensory functions, the most sensitive one uh, being our eyes, they have all evolved through time in order for us to thrive or survive. And uh, an example would be how, uh, how we used our eyes to protect ourselves from predators or uh, search for prey and hunt. Next in line would be our hearing, which is as advanced in its own way, but the difference is that it has a vast potential to improve and to understand and decipher many layers of sound at the same time. And as I told you in the first video, we are used to listening to music in a vertical way and we don't really pay attention to what is happening in that moment or to really hear uh, what's beneath the melody and the surface of the music. The idea is almost the same as learning a language. First, you learn the letters, the words, the structure and grammar, etc, etc. But uh, when you get to a sentence or even a paragraph, First of all, your brain needs to process the meaning of the words one by one, then their role in the sentence, and also the sentence structure, and then it needs to remember the beginning of the sentence, so when you reach the end of the sentence, it can connect it together to figure out the meaning behind it. And, of course, there are, you have uh, context, subject, subtext, and many other things that your brain can uh, process lightning fast, and that only comes with practice. And for us, in order to improve our hearing, it goes the same. You see, no one teaches us what or how to listen to. We just hear things and process them, and it's just a phenomenon, so there is no guideline uh, other than, of course, musicians who practice ear training every day and uh, naturally the instrumentalists that require daily tuning of their instrument like the violin have an advantage because they have to constantly be aware of their sound to be in tune. But I promise you, if you do the exercise you will hear things in your life and also in music that you've never heard before. For this exercise you're going to need a piano, you can also use a phone app and then, uh, of course, if you use your phone, you can practice it anywhere, anywhere you are, which is really nice. But uh, anyway, uh, what you want to do is to sit uh, behind your piano and uh, locate the center of your piano. So, for example, we're going to say, if this is the center, this is going to be here. So, from in front of the C here, find two notes within an octave range, so no more than an octave. I suggest you can start with a fourth or a third or even a fifth and uh, play them and simply listen like a child. So like what I, what I mean is that just, just listen to it. Don't look for theory stuff like intervals, scales, which, where does it belong or anything. So just in the white keys, play two notes like this. It's a bit like a mindfulness practice, so you just want to listen with ease and with uh, a lot of curiosity. Then after you play them uh, for some time, like maybe once, two times, three times, it can be around the minute that you listen to it or two minutes, whatever you like, then try to sing what you heard from the bottom note to the high note. For example, if it was this, if you want to sing it, then it would be la, la, and then check it. If you sing it perfectly, then awesome. 
If no, then play them separately. So. And listen. Try to save these sounds in your mind. The color of the sound. How does it taste like? How does it feel like? After a few times of uh, listening to them again, play them again at the same time and again listen very, very gently. Try to see if you can remember the low sound, what it felt like for you. If you can separate it in your mind. If you can give it a space in front of you, the low sound. Because as I told you, we're tuned into listening to the top sound, but now we're teaching ourselves to listen to the bottom sound. And then try to sing them again. If you could, then awesome. Then if not, then do the exercise again. So for example, the same intervals that you were doing. And after a couple of times, maybe you've done it two times, and uh, then you can move to another interval. So again, we're just gonna listen and see if we can hear the bottom note because we, we in order to sing them we we want to actually hear the bottom note we don't want to rely this is really important we don't want to rely on our relative pitch because if you're a musician you already know if you hear this you already know okay this is a major third and by just the feeling of it and the practices that you had you can easily sing this as da di so it's just going to be easy but we want to really be able to hear this low note. So no focusing on your relative pitch, but just listening. And concentrating and, and try to do this every day. And of course, if you are good at it, if you are, if you could easily hear this one, the bottom note, then you can make the interval a bit smaller. So you can do a major second then and try to do all the major seconds and then minor seconds, which is really difficult, this one in the beginning. And then you can move to, for example, chords, uh, like uh, any type of chord that you liked. And this is, a, this is quite abstract. It's a bit like uh, walking in the dark and trying to find something. Or, or a bit like tapping into a new, a new, new sensory function. Just give it time and, uh, and just enjoy it and don't uh, strain yourself. So every day, 10 minutes is enough and uh, you can do it wherever you are or, or whenever you want to do it. Now, what is happening is that your brain is learning to listen to depth instead of only the surface. It's a bit like seeing the world as blurred and black and white but gradually with practice, it will become sharp and colorful. The fact that you give time to your brain to listen to the bottom note will teach your ear to find layers beneath the surface of the sound. And also in general, depending on your natural talent, this exercise will start to work from a couple of weeks to a couple of months and it will gradually give you the superpower of x-ray hearing and once it's there it will always be there and there you have it ladies and gentlemen i hope you enjoyed this video and also i am really curious to hear about your experiences while doing this exercise or if you have your own exercises in ear training please share it with us in the comment section and of course as usual please don't forget to like comment and subscribe and ring the notification bell till later oh my you out